In this episode, I'm going to cover a GXT app which is themed with the theme builder. I'll start off by cloning the, the Git repo, then I'll import the project into Eclipse. After that, I'll build the app and the theme, I'll run and debug the application, and then I'll change the theme and update and show you that workflow process. To get started, I'm going to go to the GitHub project. Now there is GXD demo projects, and what I want to do is fork this project, and then I'll clone it. In this case, I'm going to skip the forking step, because what you want to do is go up here and then fork it to your own, your own username, and then you can clone it. But in this case, I'm going to skip that step. I'm going to go right to copying the URL for cloning. And then I'm going to go to my terminal. And I can do this in the, the IDE as well. But I'm going to skip that step and go right to the terminal. I'm going to type in git clone. And I've already installed git, so don't forget to install git. And then I'm going to hit enter. After this, I'm going to import the project. So that was pretty fast. So I'm going to go to my... IDE and then I want to import the project. Now let's just look at that one more time, the website. There's several projects in here. So what I want to do is import GXT theme 40X. Now there's some other options in here and I won't cover those in this episode. Keep your eyes peeled and I'll I'll update you when I cover those. So I want to import the project. So I want to go to import, right clicked on the view over here to go and import. And I'm aiming for existing Maven projects. And Maven doesn't show up. Type in Maven. And I'm going to import Maven existing or existing Maven project. And I'm going to select next. Then I'm going to browse to where I imported it. And it's in my training directory under GXT and the GXT demo projects. And here's the GXT theme. I want to import this application. And it has three modules the parent and the theme folder and the application folder and then i'm going to click on finish and it imports them okay so fantastic so what i want to do the next step i'm going to just expand this so you can see the bits in here the parent is basically the palm and just it glues together the application directory and the theme directory and what we need to do here, since the theme hasn't been built yet, and you can see the red X, I've got to run that. So I'm going to right click on the beginning and just go debug as Maven install. That will run the packaging process. And let's just look at that. Let's move the view to the bottom here. And you can see the console output. It's got to download a few pieces. Now, the one of the things I didn't cover, let's just open up the root palm. I didn't cover setting up the palm tab here. I didn't cover setting up the artifactory access for GXT 403. Now I'm using the commercial release, which is part of a 403, and that is a gated entry or gated authorization. Now you can pick that up by going to support, asking them how to do it. Or you can go to the guide right here. You can go to this guide and follow the instructions on how to set up the M2 settings.xml with the credentials. So that way Maven can open up the door and get the artifacts. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward the compiling bits here. It's going to initially compile the project. I could stop it, but I'm going to run it all the way through just to verify that everything is in working order before I debug the application. I'll fast forward. Okay, so the compilation is completed. Everything went off with a success. You can see success for all three modules. And that I just want to make sure that's working properly. Then I'm going to go over to the project because it did compile the 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 gener or generate some classes for the what I call the Tritium theme. And then I'm going to right click. It's it's basically a copy of the Triton theme, but I renamed it just so you can tell the difference in your project. So I'm going to right click on the root and I want to refresh the directory so the the workspace is updated. And you can see that it just added target generated sources. And the red X went away. It, it completed the classes. If I look in here, I can see the, the generated sources. Now, Tritium has a few overrides for the thing, for the theme, and I won't cover those, but you can look at them here in this, in this source code under the, the 40X theme. And I'm going to collapse that. Basically, the next thing I want to do is right click on the application. I want to debug as a GWT development mode with Jetty. And I want to look at the application in the browser. So it's copying the resources to the web, 
web app directory and then I'm gonna cl double click on this and it's gonna load up a browser and it's gonna do the initial compile the initial compile is always gonna be a little bit it's always gonna be a little bit slower in the beginning and then every change is gonna be incremental compile so you can see behind the scenes here it's compiling it okay so the button it works everything works so let's just change like the header color to this content panel and see if it updates okay so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look into the theme directory here and I'm after tritium.theme so let's look into the resources oh there it is tritium.theme so I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna minimize let's or just make the bottom view smaller here okay so now that I got tritium open I want to I want to change the color of the button, so I'm going to find the button. So I'm going to look for find button. And let's see the button. I want to change the gradient color. And let's just change it to A. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's three A's, one more there. Um, and I'm going to copy that and do the top of the, or the stop of the gradient too. Save that. I'm going to go over to the project theme and I'm going to run down debug as Maven install. And maybe an install will run the build process. And I'm going to build the theme. And let's just head over to the browser, back to the browser. And when it's done here, I'm going to refresh the browser and, and it will incrementally compile. All right, so there it is. It's finished. I'm going to hit reload. It's doing an incremental compile. And when this is done, it will show me a gray button if I've done it correctly. Okay, excellent. So now I could change the over color on mouse over. Let's do that one more time. Let's find the, the mouse over, pressed background, over background color, over gradient. That's the one I want. So let's do, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do all E's. This should be a little bit different color of gray, I think. I may be wrong. I don't know the the hex colors all that well. So I need to go over here, right click and go debug as Maven install. And that just is a quick way to execute the process. I could actually do a different life cycle there, but or Maven life cycle to execute the process. Let's go back to the browser and get ready to reload. And once it's done, okay, it's finished. I can reload it. Let's do an incremental compile, compiling project. And let's see. Okay, the over color is a lighter gray. That's not really what I want. Okay, there's the button too. You can see here it's a, a different color for that button. Okay, so that concludes this episode on basically covering how to change a value in the a theme, importing the theme project. And in the future episodes, I'm going to cover how to find these variables and modify the theme faster. So that concludes this video today on GXT theming. And thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks on GXT, and I'll catch you later.